Do you have a Canon EF85 F 1.2L that maybe you haven't used in a while and now that you want to use it, you pick it up and it's sticky? Um, I'll have a fix for that up next. Welcome and thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ray. And if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell to get notified when I post new content. And if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. I very much appreciate it. So I've had this Canon EF85 F1.2 L2 for quite some time. And I use it on occasion. It's a very specific lens. I use this only, mostly for portraits or when I really want that uh, nice, blurry, dreamy bokeh that you can only get with a very fast um, wide open f1.2 aperture and i really like this lens um, i used it with my um, eos uh, 5d mark ii um, and got great photos from it um, one thing that you'll learn if you have one of these lens is you have to be very deliberate with focus because you have that razor thin plane of focus that if you miss you won't get the sharpness that you're looking for and what you're trying to focus on may be out of focus. Uh, so very specialized lens that I like using on that uh, old Canon DSLR. I've since switched to mirrorless with the R5 and I also have an R8 and this with the adapter actually works better than it did on my old DSLR. Um, the mirrorless has much better focusing and I get a lot more usable photos with my Canon mirrorless with this old EF. So I don't plan on upgrading this um, anytime soon because they do make an RF version of this, but this one works fine with the adapter um, and it's a pretty big expense. So I'm good with using this. So I picked this up again because I wanted to use it and the body was sticky. And that's because it has this kind of ru texturized rubber around it. And with age, like most things rubber, they'll start to break down. And when this breaks down, it gets sticky. Camera probably won't be able to capture it, but I've left fingerprints in it. And that stickiness really makes using the lens less than desirable. Um, so there's two ways you can combat this. Now the first way, and what I tried initially to do is, I got some 99% iso alcohol, um, isopropyl alcohol, and I started cleaning off the stickiness. And it cleaned most of it off, but what I saw was again, that it was still pretty soft and like I said, I could leave uh, fingerprints or move the texture around because it is a rubberized texture on here, which I really like. Um, you can clean that off completely with the ISO alcohol if you want to, and it'll be a smooth plastic surface. But since I really like that rubberized texture, I'm gonna fix this uh, the second way. And the second way is to buy the shell. And you can purchase it directly from Canon. You have to give them a call. There's no online ordering for this, no quick way to do it. And I found the part number online because it seems like I wasn't the only one who had this issue. Um, although I couldn't find a YouTube video on how to fix it. So that's why I'm making this one for anyone, any other owners of this really nice EF85 F1.2 lens. So I got the part number and I got it in the box here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the old casing and I'll probably keep it. I'll probably completely clean it though. Um, with that ISO and have that plastic as a backup shell if I need it. And I'm gonna replace it with this brand new one. So once I replace it, it should be like a brand new um, lens, at least on the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will post the phone number you should call, which might change over time. So depending on when you watch this, it's probably still working. Um, and if not, maybe look up their new service uh, number. And I'll also place more importantly, the part number for the shell for this. So you can re replace yours yourself. So let's get started, set this down. Um, I have a set of uh, tools here, my iFixit set. You can usually find anything I need in here. Um, I'll place a link if you happen to not have one. I really suggest having a screwdriver set like this. And with all these bits, you'll be able to fix just about anything. I did a video on this, I'll link that up here too. Um, and I'll place a link to this set as well if you don't have one or want one. And here is the part. So I haven't opened this yet. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see 
here is the item number right here. Pause to to get that. I'll also um, put that in the description below as well as you'll probably see it somewhere else on screen. So that is the part number you want. And here it is right here again. Again, the item number. And it is the description is cover assembly main. And this is a real simple fix. Just a few screws on here, replace it. And as you can see, look at, there's a bit of it rubbed off as I was handling it already. Most of it is gone, the stickiness, but I can still feel a bit, little bit of tackiness there. You can see it's coming off on my fingers. Brand new, look at that. Oh, nice. It'll feel like I have a whole new lens again. You can also see the screw holes that you need to remove to be able to replace this. So let's go start with that. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Get a bit more light. There you go. New piece, old piece. So just a Phillips head, a small Phillips head. And that one's gonna work. So there's a screw here. Let's see how many screws we got. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six screws in total that we're gonna remove here, three on near the mounting area and one on the bottom. So we got two out, four more to go. And those are the six screws removed. Look, it, it left a black mark. So it's coming, it's still coming off of that old rubberized piece. I hope I can clean that off. Now we should be able to just lift this off. You see it's coming up and there it is. So there's the old piece and this is the new piece. You can see how ragged this one kind of looks. It's a little bit shiny because I, I cleaned some of that off. And you can see the new piece, or when the lens was new, how it came and how matte that is. Like I said, I really like this texture, so I didn't want to clean it all off. I like the, the texturized rubber that's rubber that's on here. The little symbols on the bottom one there. Set the old one aside. And place the new one back on here. Be careful with the electronics. I don't know what all that stuff is. I'm gonna avoid touching it and place the new case over it as gently as I can. And it should slide in place just like that. Make sure you have all the seams closed and it fits as the original did so that the screws will fit in there. And that is back on there. Let's go put the screws back. As you can see, I kind of placed my screws in the same pattern that I removed them. Um, I try to keep that in mind. I like to use the same screws. Although they look like they're the same screws, I like to put them exactly back where they were. So. And when I install these, I'll tighten them just enough and then I'll go around and finish tightening them when I have all the screws in place. just so that it's a nice even fit across the whole assembly.
What I do when I put the screws in, um, if I feel a little bit of resistance, that means the screw, the threads might be crossed, so I'll back it up and, and then start re, um, re, re uh, inserting it or reinstalling the screw. Because I don't want the threads to cross and ruin the threads. So just enough pressure again. Back it up if it doesn't if it's giving too much resistance. There you go. So now with all of the screws uh, installed, I'll go ahead and tighten everything down. And there you go, my EF uh, 85F1.2L is like new, no more stickiness, uh, no more grossness, tackiness. It feels like it did when I first bought it. And I'm looking forward to uh, putting this lens back in my rotation and using it for photography and video. Really more useful for photography. I have used it in some videos where I really wanted that nice, really, dreamy bokeh in some shots, but I mostly use this for, for photography because it is a slower lens because there's some huge glass in here that needs to move around, but it's still a lens that I like and a lens that I, I use. So if you have one of these lenses and it's getting sticky, just buy a new uh, case or assembly and you can swap that out, get the old one off of there, get a new one on there and this lens will be just like new. So really simple, really simple fix. Um, I hope uh, this was useful to you if you have the same problem. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Have you done this fix? Have you done the fix of replacing the, the casing or did you just hit this with ISO and just clean everything off and now you have like a kind of smooth rubber, rubber uh, texture on there. Let me know the approach you took and that's gonna do it for this one. And until the next one, Please take care and be safe out there.